Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. This video has been requested for a long time. Um, and basically what I'm going to be doing is flipping through my doodle book. So when I do the doodles of the day at the end of each video, I put them in this book. So if you'd like to see me flip through this, keep watching. Okay, so the reason I've had a hard time filming this is because I do the doodle of the day like a month in advance. So I'll film like 30 doodles in one day. And if I don't, like I have to film this after most of the doodles are already shown because otherwise you're gonna see all the future doodles. And I think some people like to guess, I don't know. I know some kids like to guess as to what it's gonna be. So I don't like to spoil it, but I am pretty much down to maybe five more doodles that you have not seen, so they're in here. But then after that, I was actually getting ready to sit down and film a whole bunch of new doodles, and I thought I should probably do this flip through first with you before I do that. So that's why I'm doing this now. I also didn't know like what I was going to say when I'm flipping through this book. It seems kind of silly, but I know a lot of you want to see it, so here we go. So I have this book separated into different sections, uh, different categories here. So the first category is flowers, pretty self-explanatory. Um, I have a lot more flowers I'm going to be drawing. Let me know if you want to see more different types of flowers. I used to draw flowers all the time and um, I don't know, I just kind of got out of it, but here's a couple examples. These roses are really fun to draw. They're really easy and yeah. So check those out. Here we have plants. I don't label the plants really because they're kind of just miscellaneous ones. I don't know what they are. They're kind of just made up. This is a really cute tropical leaf. I love tropical leaves in general and that's fun. House plants are really, really fun to doodle. Um, if you haven't tried doodling a house plant or a cactus, just try that because I really do like doodling those in my planner. I don't doodle as much as I used to in my planner, but when I did, I was always drawing house plants. So they're super fun. Here's the food and drink section, which is actually my favorite thing to draw of all. I don't know why. I just think it's super fun to draw food, maybe because I love to eat food, <laughs> but um, I really, really love drawing food. So it didn't start out that great. I really do like my martini here. Um, the peach looks like a butt, just saying. There was some comments on that video. <laughs> but um, in general, like this page doesn't throw me. I think the next page I really like, yeah. This page I like a lot better. Not this bad soda cup. That's like a really wonky looking soda cup. It looks really, really bad. But like I love drawing Chinese takeout containers. That's so fun. And I really like, let's see, I really like the caramel apple or candy apple, I guess it could be either one. And the beer is really, really cute. And the ketchup and mustard. So I started using in this book, I used to use like a 0.7 um, Pentel Energel. And I started using a 0.5 and then I actually went to a point. 38 over here and I've been using the Muji and I really like doodling with the 0.38 because it just feels better and it makes it look a little bit in my opinion it makes the drawings look a little bit more professional or better like look at that baguette that's with a 0.38 I think that's so cute and you wouldn't be able to get those details like the smaller details if you weren't using a thinner pen um, so I think these were a 0.5, but like I said, when I started, when I was using a Micronotes notebook, I don't know if you guys are like that far back with me, but if you were, you saw, I used to use one of those little tiny ones and I was using a 0.7 and like, definitely if you're going to be doodling, I would suggest using a really skinny pen. Also, I learned how to, to draw a pretzel by looking at a tutorial online because I used to do it wrong. And basically, not wrong, but it was like the hard way to do it. And basically what you do is you draw like this 
and then you draw one of those and then you draw that. So you have these three shapes and you just go around it. Like how easy is that? I used to try to do it this way first and like it would um, like overlap and I'd have to like be careful. Like that's the way to do it. Draw these three middle shapes and then draw the rest anyway. Okay, so now we're into office supplies, which is another favorite thing of mine to draw and crafts. Um, they're just really fun to draw. I don't know. And look at this desk lamp. I think that's the cutest thing. I love that so much. Washi tape was really hard to draw like a stack like this. That was not easy for some reason. And scissors are always hard. I had to do that in pencil first. Some of these I do in pencil verse and some I don't. Um, it just depends on how complicated the drawing is because I discovered that if I tried to do something like scissors without doing pencil first, I did have to like wipe some of it out and cover it up. So that's why sometimes you see pencil first. So next we have the household section. I love, love drawing. I, I keep saying I love drawing things, but I really do love drawing household objects, just regular general stuff. Like this scale is so cute, I think. And this little, I love drawing alarm clocks and they're so easy to draw these alarm clocks. So that's an idea for your planner, just to like have a little alarm clock there. I don't know. I just think they're cute. Light bulbs are also really fun, but a little bit more difficult to draw. And over here, dog bowls are fun to draw. Dog stuff in general is fun. This wrench turned out really cute and like kind of, I don't know, like off. And I like, like it wasn't, I don't know. It looks not like a real wrench and I like it that way. It looked a little cartoony. I really liked that. And the mailbox was hard and I had to do this in pencil first. I also like the oven and how it like, doesn't look straight. Do you see how I messed up? But it kind of makes it look sort of cool. So now we're at beauty. This is like my favorite drawing this book. I feel like oh, that's satisfying. it's so satisfying. It was like really fun to draw those and really, really super easy. So if you're doing something in your planner, that's like, um, you know, you're going to the hair salon or something, just draw some bobby pins. It's really not hard at all. And it just looks really good. Um, the rest of these, eh, the eyeshadow I really like. The, this <laughs> ring was messed up. I have this like really weird ring, but it's kind of fun too, in like a really wonky way. Um, sleep masks are really easy to draw too. If you're having a lazy day, you could draw one of those. Hair dryer, and then we have kitchen stuff, which is always fun. I really love this pot holder. I think that's super cute. And the spatula, I love drawing spatulas. Uh, teapot, that was really hard <laughs> for some reason. Oh, whisks are fun to draw too. I don't know why. Um, this is one of the first doodles I did in my planner, the coffee pot. So yeah, really cute. Outdoor stuff, I don't like drawing as much for some reason. I really, really do love drawing household objects and stuff inside the house better than I like drawing stuff outside. This is a horrible tree, <laughs> but it's very abstract, so it's fine. These are really easy trees you can draw on your planner um, when you just need a little design. That's like anybody can draw those. They're super, super easy. We have some travel ones. I need to do more of these, obviously. I have not done a lot of these. My Eiffel Tower turned out really cute. Um, in general, these are okay. Buildings I obviously need to do more of. I have more of those coming up. Weather-related stuff is always good to put in your planner because obviously it's fun to keep track of the weather in your planner. And if there's a rainstorm or something, you can always just fill up a space by drawing like little clouds and some raindrops. Or if it's snowing, Sorry. it's Allie's phone. If it's snowing, um, easy to draw different types of snowflakes. This was just one example, but there's so many different kinds of snowflakes you can draw. So those are just easy things or suns, really easy things to put in your planner that aren't stickers. Okay, cleaning stuff is hard to draw in general because it's more complicated, I feel like. Um, but, I mean, it's cute anyway. 
medical, I had to do like the mask that, and you know, the tissues felt very COVID like. <laughs> um, and then beach stuff is fun. These flip flops were really, really hard to draw. <laughs> I don't know why, but that, that really tripped me up. I had to do those in pencil first. The This is so cute. I think I copied this from the Happy Planner. I think I went, I saw one of their stickers. I think one of their stickers is like pretty much just like this, but I thought that that was really, really fun for like if you're going on tropical vacation or something. Not that too many of us are right now, but I used to draw crabs all the time when I was like bored and that doesn't look like my old crabs that I drew but um they're fun and kind of hard to draw actually the sand castle was super easy and really really cute um and the whale the whale sports stuff is not my favorite stuff to draw just because I'm not a sports person in general I'm just not so that's why I don't have too much of this also it's really simple like balls I mean it's not that hard then we have some hobbies Puzzle pieces is another pretty easy thing you could put in your planner. Paper airplanes are really hard to draw. So if you're just starting out doodling, I probably wouldn't recommend trying to doodle a paper airplane at first because they're not easy. I have done it before in my planner and they're so cute, but they are difficult to get like these angles right. For some reason, I have trouble with them. So I wouldn't recommend those to start, but, but they are really, really fun. Um, I love how my fishing pole turned out. Again, you can see the pen gets thinner the more it goes down here, and the thinner ones look better, in my opinion. Animals are really difficult to draw. I always have a problem with animals um, for some reason, but here's the animals I've drawn so far. I do like my sheep. <laughs> oh, I haven't done a dog. Did I haven't done a dog yet? Oh, I thought I did a dog. You All should. right. You get Bumble in there. Well, I don't know about that, but I will do a dog. Okay, clothing. Oh, the tank top's cute. I yeah, seen that. I kind of like the tank top. The rest of it, eh. I like them. I think good. The bikini looks pretty good. I, I do like the purse. That hanger is a little bit weird, but. And then entertainment stuff. There's obviously not a lot of those. I thought about doing like a miscellaneous section, but I haven't quite come across any that were miscellaneous and didn't fit into any of these categories yet so I might add that category but for now um you know entertainment's not like obviously a huge category but I'll think of some more things to put in there uh, boxes and banners these are things you can put in your planner that uh you can write on I mean obviously not the arrows but other stuff like these you can write your own stuff on them and they're really fun to do I love these quotes thingies. I haven't even drawn any of those on my planner, but I put stickers of those. I should probably draw some of those. They're fun. And that is it. Um, so I don't know if this was helpful or what, <laughs> but let me know in the comments what you think. And let, let me also know if you doodle in your planner and if you would like to start a doodle book or have one. I really do like the fact that I took everything out of the micro notes and put it into here because now I can find things. Before it was just like all the doodles were um, just mixed up and it didn't have it categorized. And I really, really like the fact that this is categorized. If you haven't watched the video yet on how I set this up, I will put a card up there. I'll try to remember to put a little thing up at the top of the page right now that will show you that video. So you can go, you can click on that and watch how I set this up originally. Um, I don't know. I really like it. It's fun for me. And you guys seem to like the doodles of the day as well. Oh, also, if there's anything you want me to doodle that I have not doodled yet, I do have like 50 doodles coming up that I'm going to film today. But uh, if there's anything you really want to see, you can always drop it below. I'm going to be doing some Patreon doodle Patreon suggested doodles coming up this month where I'm going to be putting their names on the doodles too, which is going to be kind of fun. Like if they suggested it, they'll get their name written out. So that's it for me. I hope you guys have a great day and stay tuned for doodle of the day. See ya.